Well, like Delaney said, I don't take a lot of stuff seriously, and that's why my two walkout songs were between I'm On My Way From Brother Bear and Drop It Like It's Hot by Snoop Dogg and Pharrell Williams. So, that being said, I do take one thing seriously, and that's being yourself and being who you're meant to be. But first, I'm going to start with a little bit of an activity to kind of help materialize what being yourself and what this authentic uh, feel of who you really are feels like. So I'm going to ask everybody to stand up. And what we're going to do is we're going to close our eyes and we're going to count to a minute when I say go. And then when you finish, when you get there, go ahead and sit down. Okay? Begin. It'll be a nice long chunk of time, kind of an awkward silence. It's okay, we can laugh about it, right? But it's fun. And you'll see that while we all have a concept of what a minute looks like in our minds, no one can really quantify that without communicating to other people. But for everybody else, so those of you, kind of do your minute, get up and look around and see. Fascinating. What's funny is there will be one person left talking and we're all going to look at them and it'll be a little bit interesting. Okay, well, for those of you that haven't gotten to a minute yet, it's been a minute and the activity's over, but what you'll notice... What you'll notice is that nobody sat down at the exact same time. Nobody reached their minute when somebody else did. So why would we live our lives like that? Why would I live my life according to someone else's standards or according to a comparison of them? I'm going to reach my minute when it's time for my minute to be up. You're going to reach your minute when it's time for your minute to be up. And that's just the way we need to live our lives. Being ourselves. There's two factors to being yourself that scientists agree upon. Authenticity and uniqueness. The benefits to being authentic are, I'm who I am. I'm a lot different than you, you're a lot different than me, but I'm going to embrace that. And the embracement of that authenticity is what we call, or the embracement of your uniqueness is what we call authenticity. Everybody here is on this earth to do a different thing. And so you'll see some of the benefits to authenticity. You're going to be widely praised in society for being authentic. It's a good value to have. Uh, the Ray-Bans motto, does anybody know it? Genuine since 1937. Everybody wants real, authentic Mexican food. So in society, we value that. We value authenticity. But what we often find and see is that people who are authentic, authentic are intimidating and can lead to people thinking you're fake or you're something you aren't or that you're putting on a charade just because you're who you are. And that's something that we need to work towards solving and fixing in society. Of course, if you're authentic and you're truly who you're meant to be with someone, you're going to build stronger relationships because that establishes a bond of trust. And that's something that we all want to have in a relationship, no matter what's going on. Then to uniqueness, everybody has something special. You're you. There's the Dr. Seuss quote. You're you. There's no one who's more you -er than you. You know what I'm saying. Everybody should embrace that. Uniqueness is a good thing. And we're all good at things that other people aren't. Authenticity, of course, is the acceptance of this uniqueness. I embrace who I am as a person. That makes me more comfortable with myself. That makes me more authentic. Once I embrace that uniqueness, that allows me to build other, more strong relationships with other people based off of their authenticity and their uniqueness. Then, of course, everybody's important. Everybody's special. It's that uniqueness that makes everybody special. Because the fact that I can't do some things that you can means that I need your help. It means that I need you to get to where I'm going. So the ability to work together and cooperate is also intrinsic to the two values of authenticity and uniqueness. Authenticity. And then overall, we talk about well-being. When you're authentic with yourself, when you embrace this uniqueness, it's going to improve who you are as a person, and then it's also going to improve how other people see you. But first, how it improves you as a person. It leads to a stronger sense of self. When you know who you are and you know why you're that way, when you know what your why is, you're going to embrace that a lot better. You're going to understand this is what I'm meant to be. And there's nothing wrong with who you are. You're put on the earth for a purpose. Take care of it. Don't try and live somebody else's life. Don't try and live somebody else's minute. Be authentic with who you are. And then, of course, people who view themselves as authentic lead 
a lot more stress-free lives because if I'm worried about how I see myself, how people see me, it takes time away, it takes energy, and it takes, it frankly adds stress to, to your life that doesn't need to be there. Just deal with who you are. Rock with it. It's awesome, right? Seeing yourself, of course, as authentic builds confidence and it's going to empower the individual. Once I know who I am, that's going to allow me to sit there and look at the various styles of leadership, who I am as a person, and apply those to my life, my goals, my visions, and my dreams. So overall, being authentic, it's going to improve your well-being. It also improves your, ra your relationships and your social improvement. So first, no one can build a relationship if they don't know who they are first. Because once you figure out who you are, that's when you figure out who you work with, how you work, and what's best for you. Of course, in relationships, you want someone who's going to be trusting, who's going to be authentic, who's going to be real with who you are. You want that, and it's a two-way street. So, of course, if you're inauthentic, you're not who you are, you're not who you're meant to be, you put on a facade or a charade, then that's not going to work because eventually it's going to lead to stagnation and that relationship's going to fail. So in all relationships, whether it's with a, pa with a spouse, with a, your kids even, don't put on a facade, don't put on a charade, be who you are. Then of course, it's one of the most qu desired qualities for longevity in a relationship. Like I said, when you have that trust, when you have that bond, you don't need to worry about it so you can focus on the good aspects of your relationship. Authenticity is the key factor in any and all relationships, and it's the key factor to your well-being as a person. Scientists break up authenticity and well-being into five different categories. Social, your career, your community involvement, your physical well-being, and then your mental well-being. How you are as a person. Because if you struggle in any of those five categories, or even one of them, it's going to lead to a degradement and a devolvement in how you are and how you feel. So it's critical that we learn what is my role in the community? What's my role socially in my friend group? How am I with myself? How's my physical well-being? What's my mental well-being look like? Am I okay? Do I know what's up with me? Um, all that stuff is critical to being, of course, who you are so that you can figure out who you are or who, who you like. Uniqueness. Every human on earth is different. We are all, I mean, look around the room, you're not going to see somebody who looks just like you. That's a, that's a known thing. Just in the exact same way that you're not going to find someone who feels like you or thinks like you. We're all unique, and that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that difference. Because it's through this uniqueness, and it's through these relationships that we build, that we're able to work on ourselves, and we're able to work on our community and our surrounding areas. Uniqueness is good, well, it's what gives us all innate value. We always talk about inalienable rights. What gives you that right? The fact that you're born and the fact that you're somebody who's never existed before. Think about that. There's no one on this earth that is the exact same way you are. So why would you spend time stressing and comparing yourself to somebody else? Once you reach that point, once you embrace that value and you embrace your uniqueness, your well-being, your mindset, and your ideologies will begin to change and shift for the better, more positively. Of course, we have to all embrace our individuality because if you aren't content with yourself, if you can't take care of yourself, how can you take care of somebody else in a relationship? How can you take care of somebody else in a community um, or physically, right? You need to be content with who you are and be happy with who you are before you can take care of somebody else. That's the biggest thing here. Being yourself, just in conclusion here, like what we talked about, authenticity, it's widely praised. Ray-Bans, right? Any, any Mexican restaurant, any Chinese restaurant, they all want to be authentic. It wants to be real because we value that trait. It's good to be authentic. It's good to be real. However, sometimes what we look for in sunglasses and enchiladas is something that we don't really embrace with other, peop with other people. You can see somebody, oh, they're fake. They're not real. They're putting on a charade. That's not who they really are, right? We need to stop that. We need to cut that out because that person's being authentic. That person's being real. Embrace that, change your mindset, and then that relationship will change for the better. And then uniqueness. Everyone has something special. You're all special. Find out what it is. Embrace that authenticity. Build better relationships, build your better self, and then stop making comparisons. Live to be the first you, be authentic, be unique. Don't live to be the next someone else because that's simply not how it's going to be. Thank you.